The Datical DB for Jenkins plugin allows you to access the powerful Datical DB database change management capabilities directly from Jenkins without having to write your own scripts or command lines. To install it, the first thing we need to do is go to Manage Plugins in Jenkins and go to Available and select that. I've already installed it here, so basically we have now our Datical DB for Jenkins plugin. Once we install it, we need to configure some global settings. So we'll go to Configure System and scroll down to the Datacle DB information. This is where we'll provide basically where the Datacle is installed in this system and then a link to the drivers where your JDBC drivers would be stored. That's all you need to do to configure that. Now let's go look at a job that is built to run Datacle. Here we have the artifacts that come from Datacle. We have the forecast reports which you've seen straight from the Datacle user interface. Here they are embedded now into Jenkins. We can see that um, in this case there were no changes to be forecasted. And here we also have the database change model, reporting on the differences between the databases before and after, as well as snapshots to capture the current state of those databases. So just an example of artifacts you can have generated from Datacle and put into your Jenkins artifacts. Now let's dig deeper into a job and look at what a, a build job looks like. Here I'm using Git for my source code repository for my little blog application. And then from the Datacle standpoint, here we have a series of steps that we can run. The first one, I'm just going to make sure that Datacle has access to those JDBC drivers properly. Then I'm going to make sure that I can, Datacle can talk to the database, both dev, reference, and a continuous integration database in this example. Then there are several other Datacle commands that I may want to run. For example, I may want to snapshot each of those databases, my dev and CI, just to capture their current state in case I want to you know, easily roll back to that state. From there, I choose to generate a differences between my dev reference and my continuous integration reference because I want to know what changes are going to be applied that are coming from my developers. Then I'll generate the model differences. And from there, I now can forecast that and see what the steps are going to be. Now, we're not deploying here. Now, if we want to add a deploy step, here I can simply say add a new Datacle DB step. Set the project dir directory to be the same one. And then what database do I want to deploy to, which would be the CI server again. And then here we have a list of all the Datacle capabilities you can reference from the Datacle db for jenkins plugin. Here we'll set deploy, save that. Now we've um, updated our job where it'll actually now deploy those changes. Thank you very much for taking the time to look at the Datacle db for jenkins plugin.